Hey guys, it's Bear now. I want to apologize for the last part. I'm sorry that I cut it short and I was and I cut it just before I went into this stage. Uh, my crystals is a bit different because I actually did go into that stage and I finished it even, which is why the first boss is there. You only need to beat three of the stages for the first boss to appear. But um, I had been there. I didn't get the golden cover though, and uh, the main reason was just because I just constantly got lag, and that was only because of fraps. So I was going hmm. So I'll upgrade, I'll up, I updated my fraps and hopefully I won't get any of those weird recording spikes. It only happened when I was actually recording, but restarting fraps and stuff didn't, didn't help, which usually did back in the old PSX days. But anyway, let's start the stage. Um, so anyway, yeah. Um, I'm recording this on a different sitting as well, so. But hopefully we'll get this all, we'll get a good chunk of this game down. Uh, so anyway, this is a bit of a sadder stage. That, the Gobbo friends are trapped in ice, and if the crocs save the Gobbos, then the Gobbo help uh, clear the ice from the door that we supposedly entered in. So, the aim is to open that door, which is actually the exit, so I don't understand. Oh, frozen fountain. But yeah, um, anyway, yeah. Uh, the stage does use quite a few items, I will say that. Uh, first of all, you want to push this a little bit so you can grab that. And then push down to the button, and the button will make half of the bridge. You can't, you can't push it all the way because you need someone to be standing on the bridge. Um, and there you go. Finally, use the purple one. Yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah. So yeah, it's a different setting. I believe I recorded this. In the context of when I think I'm uploading it, I recorded it yesterday, but enough about what? I should push it off. Um, but enough about, you know, not the game. Let's talk about the game. Um, I was... All this, all this also has um, some weird side sections. You have to go in them. Okay, now here's something. For some odd reason, that that box over at the far end that respawned when I killed myself. Up, oh, sorry, that respawned when I killed myself last time. But then when I had a bit of a failure just before this, where I tried breaking this box, because in order to do this, you gotta do a bounce jump off the box. Got it. Okay, that's good. But I seem to have a bit of a failure where I couldn't seem to make the box respawn for some reason. I don't know why. Croc is Gobbo's best friend. So anyway, yeah, it's supposed to, it's supposed to collect the Gobbo's. That was a disc lag, not a fraps lag. It's supposed to collect all the Gobbo's. Holy crap, it's like old time's sake. Old time's sake? It's like old times. So there's the guy in the same row, which I hate it. So the Gobbo press button for bridge, and then Croc can push the ice block over it. Ice block. It's where he goes over with his axe. Here's Gobbo! <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, that button will actually hold the entire bridge. This button just didn't seem to hold that last edge. But we gotta get this bomb all the way around. Just because, for some odd reason, you can't push it back over the bridge. Sorry, what? Actually, it makes more sense in the context. Because literally, we're bringing this box all the way around die, but he wants... I don't know. That guy want, will only pull this bomb if the... Actually, no, you need the bomb for the end, so, yeah. Spray some stuff. Yep, those boxes are at it again. Those dang boxes. Just checking the ceiling. Ah, uh, no, that was, that was intentional. Oh, God. Um, but yeah, these boxes, gosh. And you're gonna hate them for, uh, maybe not the next stage, I'll do it after. And hopefully that won't be a next part stage. Anyway, thank you! Hmm. I'm not his best friend. So anyway... How many, how many gems do we have? Four. Crystals. Crystals! Dang it! Dang it, I messed it up. 
I was on a roll. Uh, anyway, so this guy's like, oh, I chop down tree, Croc push ice block over. You know what makes no sense though? Why exactly do you have to rescue this guy? You can technically just get the other guy to come over here. The game won't let you, but technically the other guy could have just come up. Yeah, that guy, he has an axe. He could have just come over and chopped down the tree. He should have like a shovel on and then, then it'll be obvious that he couldn't cut down the tree because he totally could. Anyway, we got a randomly spinning platform. Ooh. Um, and the clockwork combo section, which actually goes over there. Anyway, you want that. Yeah, I don't know how I didn't get the golden the golden gobba considering I got all the crystals. I think I was actually missing one. I don't know how, but okay. Um anyway, yeah, so anyway, so you gotta go across to this. Unlike the first game where if you're on top of a moving platform, even if you're not standing on it, you'll be moved along with it. In this game, for some odd reason, that's, that doesn't apply. I think it's just because the design is a little bit different. Anyway, hit the gong. And we got some swinging. And th yeah, this was probably why I hated the lag that I was getting last time. Whoa, you thought I was going to jump off. No. I like this guy. This guy is awesome. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got some fancy shoes. Croc is Gobbo's hero. It's got like a wrench, but you can't tell. <laughs> anyway, uh, we're almost done with the stage because that's that's the last bit. And, and he's like, Gobbo, stop spinning bridge. Croc, push ice, push ice block over. Oh crap, we can't see it. Uh, he literally just puts his thingo in it and then just freezes. Dang it, you. You should be able to see it, but I wasn't looking the right way. And also, for some reason, the other gears fall off. Oh, there's the golden gobbo. Jeez. Not happy. See, I mean, like, that was just mean. But thankfully, we got it. Yeah, I definitely would have missed that last time. <laughs> anyway. Push that thing across there. Leave that thing alone. And anyway, now we just gotta push it down the bridge and it goes, Whoa! And then it goes inside. Um, I keep saying it going. I, I, I always do this thing where I say a sentence and I'm like, um. So anyway, now it's on that platform, but you're gonna need. Oh, you don't need it. Oh well. Because I got a bomb here. What's the point of throwing out that, that bomb? You may as well carry this bomb. Go! Yeah. And then he's like, Gobbo happy, croc save! Shazam! And then we got all the crystals, so we're all happy. And then... Gobbo make lift work! So you gotta jump on the lift, and he will stand on the button, which will make it go up. And then, for some odd reason, it magically slides. And then you gotta push it for the rest. <laughs> Magic! Oh. Croc save Gobbo's! Croc Gobbo get TNT out of ice block! And then he's like, oh yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, this stage doesn't really make that much sense considering that there was an explosive before. There was an explosive before, it's just, you know, you may as well. Anyway. And that's how you get rid of ice. Thank you, Croc. No problem. Jail! <laughs> anyway, um... Yeah, I always go... I always end my sentences with um. It's something that's in the Let's Play, not actually in real life. I don't... I don't say um... a lot. I always just expect to constantly talk, but I'm trying to think of inspiration, and that's why I always keep saying, um... So I should... I'm gonna try and end my sentences this, this time. For some odd reason, whenever you walk out, this guy always keeps telling you that Swap Me Peter's a weird guy. But anyway, we could take on that stage, but I'm gonna take on this stage. Because this one's probably the more fun one, and... 
you can tell exactly what's going on. Oh no, the train gone! What happened to Train Gobbo? Dantini steel train with Gobbo's on board. Must save them. The track not finished. Must throw a switch. Don't worry, Gobbo Croc will save them. Yeah, this stage is kind of awesome, isn't it? Gobbo's on the train, and you've got to save it. I think there is a time limit on this one, to be honest. Yeah, don't bother. Oh, actually, no, there isn't a time limit. It basically just goes in the set sections. There's a time limit at the very end. <laughs> it, it's strange. You think there's a rush, but really, it's only at the very end when there's when you need to actually do something. Uh, so anyway, yeah, you gotta go for one of those straight off. A few enemies. Okay. Sorry, I love this music. I think it's actually possible to get onto the train track over there. Or maybe it's added later a bit. Oh yeah. Yeah, watch out for that guy. Anyway, then you go outside and then you have this awesome bit. I think you got chasing at these bits. Yeah! I mean, look at this, this is awesome. Seriously, when you see this, you go, how is this not awesome? <laughs> and he's even got a bomb on it, wow! There's so many explosives in games in the 90s. Why is that? And I know this was made in 99, it's near the end. I th Actually, to be quite honest, I think it's because of 9 11. Probably about that. Pretty much two years later, then you couldn't put explosives in any video game. Oh, yeah, the logs. Dang logs, they hurt from the sides. I like how the gong is like. Good job! You know what's actually the worst bit? That was the checkpoint, so if you fell off anywhere before that, you would have to work your way all the way back, so... This is a very difficult stage. It involves a lot of platforming and stuff. Stuff you! I want the crate! Is there something behind there? Um. Are you actually stuff? Oh, wait, no, you just did the ground pound jump. They expect you to know how to do the ground pound jump. That is, that is a very strange thought. They expect you to use the secret thing. Oh, I don't think you're supposed to get up there anyway. Gosh, the music is like it's so tense, and I'm losing so much health in the process. Yeah, I, I think you can jump on that. You can jump on this one. Uh, dang it, too high. Where is that train? This truck, this truck sounds freaking out. Oh. oh, I thought there was an object there. Those logs! They're not attached to anything! Who puts these anyway on the train track? The train goes in into a cave. Like it starts winding around a cave. Strange idea. What did I just say? Because now I'm all the way back here. 
still keep all your stuff, yes, but I'm on two. I'm on two hearts, and I'd rather keep. I would prefer to keep them. Ah, so tense, so tense. I shall ignore you! Oh, the train went over there again. Oh, clockwork. Clockwork, gobbo. Go, go, go! Oh, this one's going real quick. Thankfully, it doesn't slip. Nice. You can do it! Get that heart, I'm gonna need it! Oh, gosh! Will it get it? Off the cliff you go. Woo! <laughs> Explosion. Alright. I remember stuffing that jump. Oh gosh, you know what? I don't think that's gong for a while again. It may look like the same section, but it's really slightly different. More avalanches. Again, there's also avalanches. Like, seriously. Seriously, safety. These guys, and I'm, and I will agree with you. What the heck are these guys? They're like ghost things. I also don't know if you can actually kill them. I don't think you can kill them. So just gonna kind of dodge them. Which is kind of a strange idea when you think about it. Okay, get that box. Box. Alright, let's keep going, okay. Yeah, so remember when I said every stage is something different? We've gone into nine stages so far. Each one has had a different objective. They've had different music for the most part. I'm not counting the Golden Combo stage, that's just for bonus kicks. Gonna want that. Oh yeah, I remember this. This is what I meant by you can go on the tracks, because you're gonna need to go onto the board. You're gonna need to go... This isn't the tracks, I know, but... That's pretty awesome that you have to jump off the box in order to get up here. Right, so Last one, okay, that's good. That... Gobbo, let's see. Oh dang it. So not only are you going to be trying to jump in order to dodge their attacks and attack them, you got to try and stay balanced. Crap! Oh! Oh! I got to play through this again. Oh. Am I going backwards or... Ah! Oh, nope, I'm going the wrong way. Well, I'll finish the stage and then I'll show a successful attempt of me doing the thing I didn't realize I was going the wrong way. Oh. See, and also when you die, you gotta go all the way back to your checkpoint. You don't just exit it. You, you have died. Granted, it's just kind of around here. Still. But we've shown that if you're on all the crystals, so I'm pretty happy now. So 
This one's the one I mess up with. Anyway, quick. That's it, pretty much. That's the time channel. Because instead of going off the rails, he just kind of stops. And then that explodes. Oh, thanks, Croc Gobbo's robot's gone and the dancing is so annoying, even though he's right there. Alright, so I'll show a uh, successful attempt of me doing this again. Okay, let's try this again. Worst part is that their eyes have hitboxes. So I got actually hit off the edge by his fire. Good enough! Good enough! Get it! Yeah! Okay. I'm happy that I got that. And then... I won't show you the bad ending. That, that, if you want to see the bad ending, just play the game for yourself. Okay. So that, that took about another five minutes. But anyway, I'll see you kids next, next time. When we'll actually tackle on the last of the stages, which is the worst one, and then we'll get on to the bosses and then Golden Cobo as well in there. Okay. See you kids then.